Crystal Pfeiffer was gone. And Tommy Prinz was alone on his stalled boat calling 911. Me and my fiance got in a little bit of an argument, and uh, she took the keys to my boat and jumped off the boat. Tommy said he didn't know where Crystal was, but believed she may have swam to shore. Police arrive and tow Tommy in, and with that, he and his boat go home. Early the next morning, two miles away, a local fisherman makes a gruesome discovery. 911, where's the emergency? There's a body floating out off of a dock here. Um, it just came up on it when we were fishing. The body was floating face down, naked from the waist up. The caller believed it was a man. So definitely a person, they're face down. Oh, definitely. There's, he's definitely underwater. I see his back and his jeans. He's got no shirt on. He looks like he's got bruises on his shoulders and stuff. Pretty horrible. Morning fishing and you come up on a body floating. It wasn't a man. It would turn out to be Crystal Pfeiffer. She had been beaten and strangled to death. As Crystal's mom, Lori, was just starting her day, she had no idea what had transpired. She didn't even know Crystal was missing. That is, until her phone rang. Around 8 o'clock, Tommy called me. I said, Mom, Crystal and I were out on the boat, and she jumped off the boat, and I, I can't find her. Like it was nothing. I hung up. I immediately went to go find her. Crystal's father, Fred, called Tommy back. He says, Crystal got mad at me because the boat wouldn't run, took the boat keys and jumped in and swam the shore. And I said, Tommy, I said, that doesn't make sense. He says, I know, I don't understand it. I said, why wouldn't you call me? And he goes, I don't know, Fred, I should have. I said, did you go looking for her after this? And he says, well, I looked, when I drove home, I looked on the road to see if she was walking. While Crystal's family is out looking for her, Detective Mike Wallace of the Port Orange Police Department arrives at the scene. There, he's briefed on the argument between Tommy and Crystal the night before and the 911 calls. I stood at the end of the dock here um, where the Daytona Fire Rescue boat was. Crystal's body was in the water adjacent to the boat. I immediately observed heavy bruising on her back, some abrasions and contusions some lacerations. Uh, right then and there, I believe that there was foul play involved. Lori went to the police department and learned about the body in the river. She rushed to the scene, and although cops wouldn't disclose the victim's identity, she had all the confirmation she needed. They were pulling a body out of the water. And at that time, I knew it was her. That was a devastating day. Unbelievably, the family weren't the only ones at the scene that morning. Tommy was too. Tommy went to uh, where the body was found. He was acting like he had no clue this could be happening. Armed with the 911 calls from the night before and the positive ID of Crystal, detectives had a suspect list with only one name on it. At that point, Mr. Prince was our main focus. Thomas Prinz agreed to go to the station for questioning. And as he sat by himself waiting for detectives, he checked his arms, gagged, and talked to Crystal. Amy, please help me jump to the water to this side. When the interrogation began, Thomas repeated the same story to detectives Wallace and Wenzel. The broken down boat caused the couple to fight off and on all night. And eventually Crystal jumped overboard. We're arguing back and forth and stuff, and then um, uh, we finally end up calming down. We had a kiss and we're making out, blah, blah, blah. And I said, baby, the boat's going to stop. We decided to just, uh, um, uh, says, I don't want to deal with this no more. And uh, takes my keys and jumps into the friggin' water. And I'm screaming. I'm like, baby, are you kidding me? I was like, it'll start up. We're, we're almost there. And then uh, that was it. I kept on hearing her swim in. And then uh, I didn't hear nothing. And then that's when I waited about like maybe 10 minutes and then call, uh, ended up calling uh, 911 and say, hey, listen, you went real kind of action. You got to on action. What? Is that what you said? No, I said that. I said that me and my girl got into an argument. Oh, argument. Okay, I'm okay, sorry. I, said that. I have a feeling the argument on the boat was a little bit more elaborate than what you described. I mean, we, we powwowed and argued back and forth. I mean, like Did you said, arguments we, ever get physical? No, no. Yeah. 
did you hear her out there? He said she kept punching her in the head and that he hurt her hand. I mean, like I said, we powwowed and uh, yelled and got to a point where it was loud and stuff, but uh, I mean, nothing physical, nothing to that extent. As far as our preliminary, would you mind if I just look, see if you have any marks or anything? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I do tree work and I get mm -hmm. scratched up, uh, I'm gonna get scratched up and stuff, but other than that, you know, shouldn't have anything to, uh, might we see your belly too? Oh, um, absolutely. You wanna take off my shirt? Yeah, I'm sure you guys didn't get physical? Those no, are, those we, are pretty no. Did, Did he, he grab you? Or? No, no, not at all. There was no, nothing to that point at all. Detectives took photos of the marks on Thomas's body, then stepped out. I'm taking pictures of this. <laughs> and during this time, Thomas either talked about his dinner <laughs> or talked to Crystal. Baby, please come home. Once they resumed, did you do anything else with the boat when you got back? Uh, uh, no, I'm, uh, other than just grab the clothes off it. That's it. The towels and the clothes and stuff. Where are they? You didn't not pile on the floor or, or I threw it in the washing machine with my clothes. So you did so, laundry when you got home? Just so, um, just so I end up, uh, yeah. Next, detectives wanted to know why Thomas went to the crime scene and then break the news they believe he already knows. You went over to a crime scene where a body was on the river. Yeah. Who do you think it was? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just praying that I'm not, I mean, not that I wanted to wish on anybody and stuff. I'm just praying it's not Crystal. Okay. Thank you. I hate to break it to you, but it is Crystal. I think you already knew that. It is Crystal. And there was more. It was time to tighten the screws. There's a little more that happened in that boat last night than what you're telling me. She has some injuries. Not a couple, but a bunch. Well, what other injuries are we talking about? What else happened in that boat? Coming up. I got a couple of photos here. Are they have Crystal? See the lines around the net? You know what that's called? What that appears to be? What does that appear to be? A luggage report. 